Yesterday we stopped at Rim Reef, um, which was quite pretty, but um, a little bit dead cold, not a lot of fish. And today we're just motoring along because there's not a lot of wind and it's dead on the nose. So uh, we're just heading across to Kelso Reef, which is only, uh, it was about six nautical miles, so it's only a one hour trip across, so we're just running across on one engine. Uh, yeah, quite flat seas and the wind's dead on. What's happening? Watching that. Come directly to us. Oh, he's going across the front now. Pretty amazing. We're a long way offshore here. There is no sight of land anywhere. We're a long way. And we're this close to a boat going past the front of us. And there's the bomby just up there. Through the window, you can see the lighter patch. But it's very deep. We're in 20 metres of water. If we find something shallow to anchor in, we're going to have to motor around towards it's lighter. What reef we are? Kelsey. Kelso, is it or Keeper? Kelso. Keeper. Kelso Reef. Going in for a snorkel, but we're a bit burnt from yesterday, so it's time to cover up from the sun. Everything's very sensitive. Don't want to be in the sun at all. That's why you're sitting inside. Compared to Jess, but Sonny's on, my hat. Japanese way to sleep when you need one. Petition. So you made sure it's not in the coral? There ain't any coral there. Start and launch.
for Joanne's 49th birthday. So what are you pouring? Sweet, so Chris can drink it. It's mango, but sparkling. Somebody's 49th birthday, and this is our actual wedding song. Good one. Oh, the wind blew them out. Shut the window and light them again. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Okay, blow them out. We're out on Kelso Reef and it's just beautiful. We've had a week of really low winds today. It's just about no wind. It's just beautiful out here. Yeah. Okay, so we're about to go for a dive on Kelso Reef and we're going to the outer walls. So we're not sure what our current situation will be like out there. So what we do for safety is we have two of these Nautilus lifelines. Um, they are a VHF radio and DSC. So we can activate it. I can radio back to the boat or I can trick an alarm. Um, very good unit, um, keeps us safe. Obviously we have the safety sausage, which I also inflate coming up at five meters. So Joe knows I'm ascending and I'll be up in three minutes. And if we are in trouble, we have the radio for the boat, the tender, and then we have the main radio on the boat, of course, as well. So that's how we keep safe while we're diving. Let's go. It is slightly challenging getting all the dive gear in for the tender. The good thing about today, it's flat, so there shouldn't be any. It's already been like. So what do you, what do you have to do with your mask? I um, got some toothpaste. It's a new mask, so she snorkeled it the yesterday and it fogged up the whole time. So yeah, so we're using toothpaste to, to um, take the film off, give it a yeah, so it doesn't fog up as much. So she's busy scrubbing with. Is that mint? Is that minty flavoured? Minty yeah, smelling? Oh, so you'll have a minty smell for your dive. Yeah. Okay. Does it hit me up very gently over the sunburn? Yes. Someone got very burnt, so it is very yeah. sore. So Chris is using Overtel. Overtel map. Overtel map um, to get to the reef where we want to dive. We checked it out on the computer last night, so. Got it on his phone so we can try working out where we were looking. While Chris and Jess had their dive, I snorkeled on top of the reef. The coral at Kelso Reef is in great condition, vibrant and colourful.
After refilling the dive tanks, it was my turn to have a dive. I am could tuck your hair back. <laughs> well, we've we've had a hell of a day in the water. All day we've been in swimming, snorkeling, diving, doing something. Had a great time. It's been an awesome dive. We've got crap everywhere still, but we're cleaning oh, up yeah. our dive gear. You see all the go up the front and look at all the stuff on. Got all the wetsuits drying. BCs on the other side. It's all chaos. So I'm making Chris go through all the tools, spare parts, bits and pieces and do a clean up and work out what we have got is useful and what's not Rearranging useful. Rearranging every tub for fun because there's nothing no. to do today. No. Yes. And I'm also making him clean up his tool, like he's got tools in every single box, everywhere. Everything, nothing marries up. So we're having a big tool cleaning so he's not happy. Find me the key, it's no good without the key, we've never put it on. 